Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you ridiculously easy, cheesy, and super fun top lane carry, and that is Ramus. You can proxy the waves early on. You're gonna rush down Thornmel, and the minion wave legit dies in a couple of seconds when you're on your W plus Thornmel. Your W is basically a Thornmel, and then plus when you have Thornmel, it dies super, super fast. So what you wanna do is proxy the initial wave. Don't start W yet, because if the enemies catch you out, you are gonna need to run. Now, Yasuo did see us there, unfortunately. That's not what we want. Against any AD top laner, for the most part, you'll destroy them, whether it's an Urga, Irelia, Yone, or even Trundle. Your worst matchups are against Mordekaiser, Teemo, Nasus, and Nar. So we're going to go ahead and grab the wave. We'll get our W. If people try to stop you from doing this, this is why you don't want to level up your W too early. Because you don't want to die before you even see the minions. If you can at least get the wave and make them miss a wave, even if you end up dying, it's worth at this point, we could suicide into the turret. That's always an option. We're going to go ahead and hit our refill. After you kill the wave, you should have time to walk over and lay your ward. Just be quick about it. You don't have too much time. We'll lay it right here. Pop this plant. This will slow down their jungler from killing us as well. It is a Zin Zhao, so he's likely to come up and mess with us. You don't want to start your W too soon. You want to wait until the ranged minions are starting to attack you. Because every time you get hit by an auto attack, it hurts that enemy. So since we waited, we took them much faster. We're going to peel off here to the side. We don't want to commit to a Q or an E yet. If they try to kill us, we want Q. Otherwise, we want to reset and have our E to fight our enemy in lane. The taunt's an instant way of getting aftershock. And it gives you a bunch of attack speed. And your W maintains that attack speed. We're going to hit our refill. And I'm looking out for the Zin Zhao really close on the minimap. We still don't want to commit to a Q or an E yet. Because we don't know what we'll need, depending on what these guys do. And in this case, we'll go ahead and get Q, finish off the wave, and we're level 3. We'll get a point in our E, reset, and we shouldn't miss a single minion by doing this. And if we have to, we can Q, run it down in a turret if the enemy jungler were to show up. Should be able to get a Bramble Vest at this point. We'll TP back to wave. And we're not going to miss anything. We're in a really good spot now. We have item advantage. We have CS advantage. He's missing HP. It's freaking hilarious. We're going to try to run past him here. It's uh, not crazy easy, but we, we should be able to fight him. Whenever you auto attack something, it extends your W duration. We need to get away here. His dash is on a cooldown. We might actually live. Because his dash is on a cooldown. Yo, one's coming. That's huge. Yeah, that's big. He can have this. I don't even need this. So yeah, whenever you're in W, you need auto attack. It extends your W duration to where you can take waves super easily. I'm going to go ahead and reset because we soaked that gank. Yasuo is low. We are up CS on him. And we've already soaked some jungle pressure. We do need to reset. We get our refill back and we're ready to go. Obviously, if the enemy jungler didn't gank us there, we would have been in a nutty position. Because we nearly killed the Yasuo and we we're back on the proxy style play. You don't have to continue proxying after, th after the start. And you don't even have to proxy at the start. You can just play lane nice and slow. Let them push into you. The proxy is just a great way to start out. It gives you really everything you need. I'm going to go ahead and queue back. For your items, you want to rush down Thornmel into Sunfire, typically into Frozen Heart. You want to max your W first because it gives you a lot of extra armor, in particular, and some magic resist. The more armor you have, the more damage your auto attacks do on Ramus. Plus, the more armor you have, the more value you'll be getting out of your W. I gave up that minion because I didn't want to miss Cannon. Literally, the more armor you build, the more armor your W gives you. It's a really nice cycle got it act like i'm going for him i really just want to get around him and take this wave you can soak a lot of pressure on ramus and he's not particularly easy to kill because he's quick and tanky you can use your taunt to uh, get your aftershock for a lot of extra armor and magic resist which gives your w even more armor and magic resist your E is a great escape tool, and then you run away with your Q speed up. 
I'm not even going to play against this guy. Rammus outscales most champions in the game in teamfight situations, especially in solo queue, where people do a lot of chasing and overfighting. Rammus can punch that super hard with his point and click hard CC and really good all in potential. I think we're getting ganked here. If I had to guess. He's missing CS right now is the thing. Whenever they do this, he literally just missed a minion. Well, act like I'm leaving, but I'm not really going to leave. And then he's tanking our minions. His turret's taking damage as well. We can pop W early now since we have Bramble. Even if the ranged minions haven't started their autos with the Bramble, we can still wipe the whole wave. And then it's hard for him to full commit because if he full commits, he's guaranteeing losing minions. So not a great situation for him. I do want to get this plate. I would really like to get this. We're going to again taunt him. We'll fight this down. We're on aftershock. So he doesn't really win that fight. As you see, we took two turret shots. And we, <laughs> we still were winning that. We're going to die here one way or another. Or close enough. We can get away with our R. We're on cooldowns. We soak another Zin Zhao gank. We expose him on the map and we live. Your R goes through all CC. If you're about to get hit at a billionth of a second by a, a Lux Snare or Magana Snare, some kind of hard CC, and you pop R, it can't stop you. Your R will keep going and you'll be able to get away. We'll go ahead and pick up Giant's Belt. We'll grab Boots. And head back to lane. We're getting really good value from our refill. We have a CS advantage. Unless they're farming perfectly underneath turret, you will build up a CS lead by default. Once again, you don't have to continuously proxy if they're not letting you, if they're getting in your way. way just play the lane nice and slow. Wait for ganks and you can get kills. What you're really looking for is team fights on Ramus because his team fights are stupid strong. We did miss the cannon minion, which sucks. We got the XP for it though, so. Not the end of the world. You can't push waves nearly as fast if the minions aren't focusing you. Rams has insane wave clear if the minions are focusing you because of your W slash Thornmel. But if they're not focusing you, it actually takes a while. We're gonna max W first, E second, and Q last. Get our W down early before the, the minions have time to start focusing my minions too heavily. And I don't really want to deal with this guy. You see how much damage he's taking from our minions though? It's hilarious. Xin Zhao's bot side, we're chilling, man. He hasn't even been able to damage our turret really. Because he's constantly underneath his own turret. See Zinzao's bot side. We could look to take this type of stuff. Could look for a ward right now so we don't die to a gank. She has red buffs coming up. We could kill him on his red buff here after we grab this wave. He's trying to stop it from crashing, but he doesn't have any life still. There's only so much he can do there. Your W doesn't cost that much mana to where you're not going to run out even if you don't build mana items. It's only costing 40 mana per cast. Red buff still up. He hasn't crossed over yet. I need to get a drink of water. Once he does go for his red buff, we can kill him. He hasn't gone for it yet, though. He's bot side. We could take his red buff. Get another point in our E per level. Your E, your taunt lasts longer and you also get more attack speed. Your W extends the how long your attack speed lands to once your W ends. So, for example, if we taunt here, we have attack speed, and now we have it for the full duration of our W, and since we're auto-attacking, we're increasing our W duration to where this whole time, we have all this bonus attack speed. He's not going to be too happy when he finds out I took his red buff. We could even kill the Zin Zhao here as he comes back. I could take Raptors real quick, kill him in this brush. He might go bot side. I don't know if he really has up over there and he might actually have camps to take if he doesn't have camps to take he should come over here 
Yeah. My abilities are on cooldown. He lost a lot out of that, though. I'm going to go ahead and, well... Get him with the RE. Nice, we got his flash. That's really good. We are missing some minions top right now. It's worth it though. We get a kill for our team. And I can TP there. I wanted to get my uh, Thornmel anyways. Xin Zhao's dead. He's so far behind from trying to kill his top side. It's hilarious. Go ahead and pick up a Ruby. He did get a plate off of us there. It's not the end of the world. He can't fight us. We could dive him underneath turret right now. No joke. He doesn't win this fight at all. He, he doesn't win that at all. <laughs> oh, I'm going to unmute him. This is hilarious. I'll unmute everyone on my team except for their pinks. Uh, this is this is really rough for him, man. There's no way he can get back in the game now. Your Thornmill does so much damage. It makes your autos do more damage. It makes your W give you more armor. Which makes your autos do more damage. It's so hard to deal with as a physical damage champ. Xin Zhao's dead. And I'm out of here. He's dead. He can't fight me. We auto attack him first, then we E. <laughs> No one said anything, not a peep out of anyone. They're just like, yeah, that's normal, you know, 1v2 them underneath their turret. Legit, man. Oh, man, what a game. Yeah, he's like, can you let me save you? <laughs> uh, He's making me clear the wave slow. If the minions all hit me, I can kill the wave pretty much instantly. I'm not gonna stay for turret. I don't even need to take it. I'd prefer if it stays out so I could keep killing the Yasuo. Oh man, what a game. We'll grab tier two boots, push into Sunfire. After Sun, well, we could even go for a Dark Sill here. I wouldn't be completely against it or even pick up a tier. Tier is a great scaling item on Ramus. If you can get Winner's Approach, fourth, fifth, or sixth item, it's really good. You do best against fast attack speed champs. The faster they auto you, the more damage they take from your sun, from your W and from your thorn mill. Against these mages, we won't do quite as much damage because of that. Nautilus gets the hook. There's nothing for me to really kill here. Hey, Zin's out. We want to auto attack and then E. Because your E has more range than your autos do. E has way more range. So if you're in range to auto, you always want to auto then E. That being said, he did flash the wall. After he came out of my taunt, he would have uh, flashed the... He can't get away. He's actually just going to die. I have R. I don't even need to use it, though. Oh, maybe I do. Get him with our E. And down he goes. Their mages shouldn't be able to make it back bot side. Aw, oh, Talia's here. These guys are playing all the way back. I can't do anything about that. They're super scared to even run through their turrets. We'll go mid, try to get this Yone. He's so far behind. I could kill them here if they keep going. They're being really greedy chasing when I'm as fed as I am. Misfortune is way more fed than this Yasuo. They can't fight. He can't fight her at all. Yasuo is so far behind. We get the knock. I'm going to walk through that. Hit her with the EW. She nearly dies from that. Beautiful. Got it. Ah, oh, man. Feels bad. Oh, what? Where are you going, my friend? They definitely can't kill me here. They can do, well. Yeah, they definitely can't kill me here, but they're doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, 
Oh, can we win this? We get triumph feeling. He pulls us into him. Yeah, we don't quite get it. Too much magic damage. We can buy a big chunk of Sunfire. Very nice. We'll go ahead and pick up Blue Ward and group for team fights. Ramus does have great scaling. There's no need to drag games out, though. We have an outrageous lead on their team. And I counter three of their champions super, super hard. Their mages certainly give us issues. The rest of their team I can kill very quickly. Or I guess they will end up getting themselves killed by attacking us, I should say. Hey, friend. He's slippery, man. I see you. <laughs> I can't wait to end still to hit that. That's not going to keep you alive, dude. The Yone outplays. I don't need blue buff at all. I'm just trying to help him take it faster since my W is already on. I'm going to go for Yasuo. All he has is life still. I'm going to hit him with an R right when our Q is about to end to extend it. Auto attack into the E. Move in between our auto attacks. Down he goes. He's not going to say anything. Lol. LOL What a game man Ramus top is so much fun Just don't pick it against Teemo, Mordekaiser, Olaf or Nasus. Olaf has a lot of true damage and you can't CC Olaf because of his R Teemo blinds you so you can't auto attack which is Ramus's honestly main source of damage The Mordekaiser has a lot of max health damage and magic damage Moving in between our autos here we nearly kill him a double kill there must be someone voting no on their team because this is an absolute beat down hey friend goodbye swain flashing that wall so much fun and we can get sunfire now sunfire gives you so much damage after you have the flame touch up your auto's absolutely chunk They're all missing. What the heck? All right, let's do it, boys. Come on now. Come on, hit me. <laughs> uh, I can't believe they actually tried to fight, fight on the Ramus. <laughs> he says, "Dang, that's crazy, man." He's like, "Damn, dude, that's crazy." <laughs> Uh, R into EW. We have so much armor, we can tank this turret for a while. And we're out of there, dude. He says he had red smite, we had a shot. I don't know, man. I got so much armor, I don't think they had a shot there. I'm gonna go for this Talia. Gotta get out of the turret range, though. Down she goes. Down he goes. Multiple of my teammates died for that though, so it's not really worth it. I don't think we can really kill this guy. Ooh, got the taunt into W. Down he goes. Awesome. Swain lands his nasty eye. I'm act like I'm going in for it. I'm trying to give Twitch some space to kite though. Oh, Yon's down here. Yon's chilling on our Krugs. What a goofball. Down he goes. And I give a blue buff and I can back for Sunfire. Third item, you can go for armor or magic resist item. It depends on what you need. For an armor, it's typically best to go for frozen heart. For magic resist, it's best to go for force of nature for the mobility and extreme tankiness. She's looking to fight Zin Zhao here. Hey, she's super fed. She's pretty much full build. Go ahead and take dragon. They actually think they're gonna outscale us. It's hilarious. They absolutely do not outscale us at all. We could just end. We can end like a hundred percent. Hit him with Q and the EW. We can straight up just end, dude. Hey friend, R and the EW. We'll take it.
Yeah, poor Yasuo, man. This is not a fun matchup for Yasuo. It's pretty unplayable. Getting him in found. I'd say Rammus is unironically an S plus top laner against the right matchups. Against Irelia, Yon, Yasuo, Urgot, Renekton, all that type of stuff. It's completely unplayable for them. What a game. It's so hard to gank two for most junglers. 10-1-10. What a score. Let's go, baby. Let's get damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were the second highest in the game. Tasty. For damage taken, it wasn't high, but if we look at self-mitigated. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. For runes, really good value. Ram is top lane, unironically an S plus tier top laner, as long as you're in the right matchup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Gangsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.